Hey guys, I'm here with the book review because I promised you I would. So this review is on Matched by Ali Condine. It's a dystopian novel, and I didn't hate it. That phrasing was very intentional, by the way. So like I've been doing lately, let's get down to the plot and then what I did and didn't like about the book. Cassia, Cassia, the main protagonist girl, lives in the society, in a borough, and it's a new kind of world where they have narrowed everything down to hundreds and they tell you where to go, when to go there, who you're going to be, and eventually who you're going to love. Cassia is matched with her best friend, Xander, who she's known her entire life, and so she's very excited. Xander is the all-around golden boy. Everyone loves him. So when Cassia puts in her microcard to check up on Xander and learn more about him, to reassure herself that this is really what she's supposed to do, a different face flashes on the screen. And the mysterious boy's name is Kai, and she starts to learn more about him and finds herself falling in love for him, even though she wasn't actually matched with him. As the world around her starts to fall apart, Casillas has to figure out who she wants to be and who she wants to be with. I give this book 3.5 out of 5 stars because it wasn't bad. Here's what I liked about it. Number one, I loved the writing style. It wasn't all flowery language, but it still managed to be descriptive, which I love. I just turned on the air conditioning. Two, the pacing was pretty good. Three, there was no instant falling in love. This really was a building of friendship, companionship, and eventually, love. And last, and this is the biggest part that I loved about this book, is the entire world that Ali Condi has created. The society is so realistic. You really couldn't ask for a more detailed description of a dystopia. Even the parts that I didn't understand, Cassia did, so it felt more natural, and eventually I did get to learn about the things I was confused on about. So here's why I gave it a 3.5. There was nothing great about this novel. It was good. Um, the characters were good. The plot was pretty good. Um, the writing style was good enough. I mean, I should at least give it a 4, right? No, not right. Don't assume what I should do. I'm sorry, that was that was rude of me to snap at you. Let me explain. There was no wow factor in this book. It was good, it was nice, it was well-paced, but nothing took my breath away. Nothing stunned me. Nothing drew me in. It was readable, it was fine. I could get through a few chapters, but nothing made me grip the pages. It wasn't a page-turner. So all in all, I am going to have to give this book a 3.5 out of 5, but... I did genuinely like it. So here's what's going to be going on this week. On Wednesday, I'm going to be uploading the giveaway winners video, so yay for that. Be sure to look out for that. Thursday, I will be having another live show on Blog TV. I'm pretty sure we're going to make it a, a weekly thing if you guys want. Last time was really fun. A lot of people came out and we talked for a couple hours before Doctor Who, and then everybody had to go so they could watch Doctor Who. Friday is going to be a Discuss This video, and it's going to talk about love patterns in YA literature. From John Green to Stephanie Meyer, we're just going to compare everything, throw out some cliches, and of course you're always welcome to do video responses and comments and yes. And then on Sunday, I will be uploading a video of um, a book sale. I'm going to be dishing out some books for you guys, um, kind of like Karen in OCD of books. Kind of sucks to part with something I'm so in love with, but I'm never going to read them twice, or if I haven't even gotten to them yet, I probably won't read them in the near future. And uh, the end of the school year is coming up, so I need to get everything packed away, and I'm trying to keep everything as compact as possible. So, yeah. So until next time, I will see you next time. That was lame. Someone comment and leave me a, a, a sign-out tag that I can just put on every one of my videos because this is not working. I am horrible at this.